I needed to get my life purpose after being wrongfully incarcerated for 17 years. I was illiterate, I couldn't read at the time. But when I started to learn how to read, it changed my life and it actually put me in a position to be empowered enough to want to fight for my innocence and for my freedom. My name is John Bunt and I help promote literacy in schools and prisons. When I was 14 years old, I was wrongfully accused and convicted of a crime I had no knowledge of and had nothing to do with. It led to me being incarcerated for 17 years and then on parole for another 10 years, which was a total of 27 years for me fighting for my life. In the beginning stages, I was under the impression that the system was gonna to come to my aid because I was an innocent man. The deeper I went into my incarceration, the hope started to fade away. When I went to trial, my lawyer told me any questions or anything I had to write it down on a piece of paper. And I sat there and couldn't write anything because I didn't know how to read and write. So it's like I sat there and watched my whole life flash before my eyes. So it like ignited a fire into me to learn how to read. When I was in prison, it was a teacher there that started showing me how to sound words out and taking special interest in me, giving me dictionaries and children books to get me over the barrier. The process of learning took about 18 months. Reading was definitely a positive experience for me. It still is to this day. I found that there was a lot of guys that had this literacy issue. Because of my ability to read and write, I was able to help out other inmates and enhance their abilities. In 2018, I was able to get that wrongful conviction fully exonerated from my record, and now my life has a new leaf. When I actually got released, I started A Voice for the Unheard, which is a literacy program. It started out as a book drive. I collected over 80,000 books, and I distributed books to everywhere you can imagine, from youth detention centers to Ragged Island to boys' clubs to community centers. Today, we're about to donate thousands of books to Friends of Allen Academy for them to be able to distribute, and they're gonna also start a new library in their hub. Friends of Allen Academy is a nonprofit organization offering advocacy, support, and services to age 16 to 21 year old youth affected by the criminal justice system. I met John Bunn, and immediately, I mean, just connecting to his story, and so when I sat down with him, I just felt his passion, his sincerity. It wasn't a hustle, it was something that was really on his heart to give to young people and to really utilize literacy as a tool to connect. Literacy is freedom, freedom of your mind. It's like you unlock your mental chains. Your mind get the, the privilege to wander the four corners of the earth. It's magical to me to be in a position and be privileged able enough to do something positive. That's priceless.